Hi folks, hope you're okay. Today we're looking at this book, Jehovah's Witness Answered by David A. Reed. I'd encourage you to get hold of the book. It's a really, really good book. So we'll we'll look at uh, Exodus chapter 3, verse 14, page 26. God said to Moses, I am who I am. He said, say this to the people of Israel, I am a sent you. Christians universally recognize that Jesus Christ was claiming to be the deity when he referred to himself as the I am. The Jews then said to him, you are not yet 50 years old and have seen Abraham. And Jesus said to them, truly, truly, I say to you, before Abraham was, I am. John 8, 57, 58. Even Jesus' enemies recognized that he was saying. The next verse tells us that when they heard this, they took up stones to throw at him. The unbelieving Jews viewed Jesus' claims to be the I am as blasphemy, a crime for which they wanted to stone him to death. Jehovah's Witnesses, however, teach that Jesus Christ is really just a Mo Michael the Archangel, that Christ never claimed to be God. So to make scripture agree with their doctrine, they changed the reading of both verses in their Bible. The Watch Society translator says, This is what you are to say to the sons of Israel, I shall prove to be has sent me to you. Isaiah 3.14 And most truly I say to you, before Abraham came into existence, I have been. John 8.58 So in the JW Bible, Jesus would were to appear to have no connection with Exodus 3.14. But you do not have to be a Greek and Hebrew scholar to prove that the Watchtower Society has twisted these verses. Jehovah's Witness own study Bible proves that Jesus was claiming to be the I Am. The 1984 large print New World Translation in the footnotes admitting that Hebrew would be rendered into the Greek Ego, Emi, I Am and the 1985 Kingdom Interlinear Translation of the Greek reveals that Jesus' words at John 8.58 are the same I Am Very interesting 